Boruto's art sucks. The art in the Boruto manga is definitely a step down from the art of the Naruto manga. It's been a topic of discussion for a while now and I figured I'd throw my two cents in. I want to preface that I'm not a very talented artist myself so I don't have the qualifications to really pick apart the art but I can definitely see that it's not as good as it was before. The main reason for this downgrade in the quality of the art is the fact that it's a different artist entirely. The manga isn't drawn by Kishimoto anymore, it's actually drawn by his former assistant Ikimoto who before taking the reins as the lead artist would just draw background stuff for Kishimoto such as background landscapes that don't really need much detail or just background characters. Ikimoto just wasn't at the level of Kishimoto when he had to take over the main art of the manga which resulted in some backlash at the very obvious downgrade in the quality. Now don't get me wrong, Ikimoto has very obviously gotten better. If you look at the characters in the early chapters compared to now, it's like night and day. But when compared to how Kishimoto draws these exact same characters, Ikimoto just isn't at that level. Okay, so what if the characters aren't drawn as good as they once were? There's plenty of manga with subpar art that still performs well. But the way the characters are drawn isn't the only thing that makes the art in Boruto inherently bad. Ikimoto is really bad at drawing fight scenes. Which is obviously a problem when his art is consistently being compared to the Naruto manga which is hailed as some of the best fighting sequences of all time. Kishimoto was great at drawing fight scenes, like you could follow the fight very easily, the art was great, the way he utilized the panels to make the fights better by having certain panels bigger and having things come outside the panels, putting certain characters in the background and certain characters in the foreground, I mean everything about how Kishimoto drew his fights was just great. But Ikimoto really lacks here, like the fluidity of the fight scenes in the manga aren't even close to that of the Naruto manga, they look flat and the paneling is very basic which makes the fights that should be great come off as kind of unengaging and boring, even in fights that should be really important to the story. Which is obviously not a good thing when you're drawing the sequel to one of the most popular manga ever. Not only that, but the fights get insanely repetitive because Ikimoto likes to use this exact same pose in like every single fight when two different characters engage each other. You could literally go to some of the most forgettable fights in the Naruto manga, and they would have better paneling, fluidity, and just an overall better look than the most important fights in Boruto and that should not be the case whatsoever. Another thing that initially inspired me to do this video is the lack of a two page spread in the Boruto manga. A two page spread is when both pages are shared to create a single scene and the Naruto manga utilized this a lot and it just makes for a better looking scene overall. This is most commonly used to show the importance of something such as when Pain used Chibaku Tensei or when Naruto first summoned Gamabunta for example. Two things that are huge plot points and deserve a bigger scale to show how important they are. Kishimoto used these a lot and it made for better storytelling through just the art itself. Whereas Ikimoto hasn't used a single two page spread throughout the entire 73 chapters of the Boruto manga. I mean look at Naruto going into Baryon mode, arguably the most important thing to happen to his character in the entirety of the Boruto manga, and he gets this as a reveal. Wouldn't it have been more impactful to have his reveal look more like this? Or this? Or this? Like, this is easily the biggest power up in the entirety of the franchise. Why does he only get 75% of one page for this reveal? The thing that makes this worse is the fact that these two page spreads take way more time to draw than the normal paneling done in manga. And Naruto was a weekly series. Even though it was weekly, Kishimoto still managed to get an average of one two page spread per chapter. Boruto is a monthly series, and Ikimoto hasn't even taken the extra time to draw a single one. Kishimoto was drawing 20 pages a week, meaning 80 pages a month, whereas Ikimoto is drawing an average of 40 pages a month. He's drawing half the amount of pages that Kishimoto was drawing per month. This is just sheer laziness on his end and shows that he lacks passion for the art in Boruto. Plain and simple. I honestly think that the manga may need a new artist at some point in time if Ikimoto doesn't improve. And if they're gonna hire anybody, it should definitely be Shingo Kimura. The artist that's doing the new Sasuke manga. I mean look at this guy's art, it genuinely looks amazing. It looks like Kishimoto himself drew this stuff. I was already really excited about the new Sasuke manga but seeing these drawings just shot my hype up even further. It's pretty obvious that the art in the Boruto manga is a problem and though it's gotten better it's just not at the level that it should be. So to answer the question of if the art in Boruto is bad, yeah it's bad. 
It's not close to how good the Naruto manga's art was, and as the series progresses, I don't think it ever will be. Ikimoto just isn't Kishimoto, and I honestly don't think he'll ever be as good. But this guy Kimoda is actually really talented, and if they're gonna replace Ikimoto as the lead artist, then I think that he's definitely the guy for the job. Well that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like would be much appreciated. And if you like content like this, make sure to check out some other videos on the channel and consider subscribing. Also, it would be cool if you could become a channel member, really helps out the channel, and you get a few extra perks. It's also pretty cheap, so yeah. But yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love y'all. Trippy out. Peace.